Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ayala, I'm the mother of a two-year-old and a six-month-old. On this channel, I share about Montessori, respectful parenting, motherhood in general, all sorts of things like that. I am so, so excited about today's video. So, I have this video has been in the works for a while, but we went on a trip. I'm actually recording this part from Australia right now. Um, but this video is all about science experiments you can do with your toddler. So we have been doing science experiments for about a year now, since my son is a little over a year old and he's now a bit over two, and we just love them in our home. It's such a fun part of our home, and so I have some really fun ideas to share with you. Um, that's what this video is going to be. It's going to start out simple with some science experiments you might have heard of or you might have remem might remember from your childhood, but there are some really exciting ones as you go further in. So stick around and you will see some exciting ideas. Um, so thank you so much for joining and here you go. Here are some awesome science experiments you can try with your toddler. Okay, we are starting out simple with an experiment you might remember from when you were a child and that is a simple volcano with baking soda and vinegar. So he's poured in the baking soda here. Now he's adding vinegar and I added a bit of color just to make it a bit more fun and also a little squirt of dish soap. This just makes for some better bubbles so I recommend that little hack as well. So experiment number two is using the same sort of reaction of baking soda and vinegar, but with some fun twists going on. So here he put in baking soda and now he's adding water. And so then he's going to mix the baking soda and water together. Once it's all mixed, he's going to add corn kernels. You can also do this with raisins and we will watch them dance once he adds in the vinegar. So now he's adding in vinegar, you see the explosion, just like in the baking soda and vinegar one, but because of the water, it's not going to be quite as volcano-y. And you're going to see the corn kernels are now dancing. So that is a way I had always done this experiment, except this one time I had forgotten how we usually did it. And so I did it a bit differently and I added in the corn kernels with the baking soda and then I put the water with the vinegar and he poured them together. That also worked. I do think it's a bit better to mix the baking soda and water and then add the vinegar, but this can work as well. And you will also see the corn dancing and having that same reaction. As you can see, this is a real favorite around here. The reaction lasts a little longer since you can watch the corn instead of just the explosion, and I highly recommend this one. For this one, we are again doing baking soda and vinegar, and again working on that reaction between the base and the um, acid. But here, this one's going to take a bit longer, and you have this color fun and some fine motor additions as well. So start with a muffin tin or something like that. Put some dots of food coloring in different colors in each one, one color per slot, and put baking soda covering it. Now he has an eyedropper, and that is vinegar in the bowl. He's using the eyedropper to uncover the colors. So you can see he notices what color it is underneath, and here is what it looks like at the end once he's uncovered them all. Now for the final one using this reaction, you are going to be mixing baking soda in with water again, but this time you are going to freeze it. So I'm putting it in these little dino molds. I've put a few tablespoons of baking soda and about that much water, and I am going to then pour it into these molds and it will freeze overnight. Now I will say this one would be better with some food coloring. I didn't do that, but I do recommend adding food, color food coloring. So then I give it to him and he has this little bottle. This is from dish soap and it has vinegar inside. And so he's going to be able to spray it, which by the way, this bottle can also work for the color one, the previous experiment I showed you. You can also use this sort of bottle if your child is struggling with the eyedropper. This is a great option. So these ice cubes are going to fizz. As I said, it would be more fun with a variety of colors. Um, particularly if you do different colors in each one, but we didn't and it was still fun for him and it makes the experiment last a lot longer than just the volcano when it's not frozen. Now this next experiment is a bit different and this is a good time to talk to your child about germs and about hand washing with this experiment. So he is pouring water into the tray. You can see he's a little nervous because we usually pour into other things on the tray, but I got him to pour the water into the tray. And then he's putting black pepper on. 
So this is going to sprinkle black pepper all along the water and really sort of fill it up with a nice layer of black pepper. And then he's going to put a dot of hand soap onto his hands and touch it. And you can see how the black pepper moves away from the soap. Depending on the age of your kiddo, this can be a great time to talk about germs and how the black pepper moves away from the soap and so do germs and just how effective soap is in hand washing. We kept it basic, but it's a really nice visual for that. Now for our final experiment, I absolutely love this one. This is playing around with some color as well. So here we're starting with pouring in some water. And then he's going to add some water soluble food coloring. So this is just the normal food coloring you probably use if you use food coloring, we tend to not really use it in cooking, but we do use it in, in just experiments and stuff. And this is just your normal food coloring you're gonna see around, see on the shelf. So you're going to mix up that water with that water soluble food coloring, um, get it together and mix it well. Now in this picture, I am pouring some baby oil. And then he is going to add some oil soluble food coloring. So they make this for candies and things like that, but you wanna make sure you get an oil soluble one and he's going to mix it in with the baby oil. So now you have water with water soluble food coloring in the jar and in the pitcher you have baby oil with, um, with oil soluble food coloring and then you're going to pour them together and as you can see the oil the yellow stays on top and the blue which is the water soluble one stays on the bottom and so you can do any colors but what we're going to do now is mix it together so i would recommend doing something like blue and yellow that make the green and you'll mix it together and you see that it becomes green. And so this is a good one just because these are colors that the child knows. Then when you leave it, the colors separate again. This is a great way to see what the makeup of a color like green is. And you can keep reusing it and shake it up again and let it separate again. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you try some of these science experiments. Let me know in the comments if you did. Um, hit the like button if you liked this video, if you liked any of the ideas. And please subscribe for more about Montessori, respectful parenting, and also for toddler activities and things like that. So I'll be sharing more toddler activities. I share about what my son is playing with as well as mom and daughter who is a baby. So stay around for all of that. Um, thank you so much for joining. Have a good one.